Hi everyone, my name is Mark Hill and we're from MoTeC. The uh, system we've put in here is uh, the Motorola Irinet. Um, this isn't the controller, this is just a radio head that uh, we operate four valves on this end of the town. Um, this system's a hybrid, so that side of the track is all run on the existing cable that's been in the ground for probably about 15 years. The controller is mounted back in the shed, way over there, we were nearly there before, and that's got an antenna on the roof and it talks to this unit here. Um, we chose to put this unit in a bollard and we're doing this quite a lot um, down low for mid row, up high for out on the ends. So there are three quarters of an inch thick uh, recycled plastic and yeah, they take the fish plates well. So that's why we chose this. We would also do just standard boxes, um, but uh, we find that uh, the harvesters eat them up quite a lot. Um, the, the server for the system, so the software, you own the software. You buy the actual license, whether it be a 100 element license or 500 element license, depending on how many valves you've got. You own that software, you put it on your computer, so all the data is yours. You still have remote connectivity via the app, via the website. Um, you can log in via other computers to your server, so your data is safe. We do have some servers where small properties, so 20, 30 valve properties, they just lease a spot off that server. But uh, we take care of that server quite well, so keeping that safe. This system here, uh, it's, it's a bit hard to explain it because it's all sitting inside. But I've got a demo back there in the, uh, in the tent, but a small 6 volt solar panel is charging the battery. Needs about 2-3 hours of sun a day to uh, open up the solenoids on the back. Uh, we've got hydraulic tubes running down to that end of the vineyard from here and uh, the solenoids will bleed them off and open up the valves. Um, that's really about it. It's, uh, it's basically a system that's ready to uh, accept any other information coming in via API. Um, we output to uh, Swan Systems on packages and so they can get the irrigation scheduling from that and uh, and then you know work out with their algorithms so yeah any questions uh, more than a question is we have Roger here Roger you start managing the irrigation system of the Vinaya here in the station now with Motec technology could you give us an idea of how that changed your activities or that kind of things Um, yeah, no, we had a very manual system here on the station. We had a, um, a, quite a few valves around the vineyard, so we had to go around and open and close each time we wanted to do a irrigation schedule. And now this system here, I can just um, yeah, operate the whole system from my phone. Um, uh, I can do it on weekends. I can do it while I'm away on holidays or anything like that. I just um, yeah, dial up the blocks that I want to irrigate and the time we want to irrigate them for and set it off and just turns itself off when the um, cycle is finished. Uh, very easy system to, I've just got the app on my phone and uh, just a very easy system to uh, operate and uh, use for irrigating the, the vineyard compared to the old manual system I used to use. So it's been a great investment here on the um, research centre and um, yeah, I got full praise for it actually. So it makes my life uh, a lot easier. But like myself, I still like to go out when I turn a block on and just have a look to make sure everything is dripping properly because um, we've got that um, issue with um, uh, vermin, hares, so foxes and so forth. They will go through and you know, chew on the drippers and, um, and, um, uh, and we do have leaks from time to time. So it's still nice to do a quick run around to make sure everything's um, uh, running um, sufficiently. And like we have a little leak there at the moment so, uh, and you only find them out when you've got the irrigation running. So, uh, yep, so uh, that's about it, I think. Can you give us a range of costings to put this in? Or it's, I know it's difficult. Probably if I, um, I'd use this package as a price because, yeah, it, it is difficult. So uh, back at base, uh, we've got a 24 station controller back there with, with a radio that 
talks to this side of the road and also to the other 12 valves on the other side wirelessly. So probably around about the $6,000 mark for that. And then coming out to the wireless valve area here, probably about $2,000 for the four valves. So it's not so much a sliding scale. Um, you can go up to eight valves to about $3,000. So the more more valves that, you know, actually the better the pricing. So if you can bring grouping back like we've done here, rather than, you know, one head per valve, it gets uh, got quite a cost effective. Um, the other thing for, for every output that this does, it has one input. So you can do pressure monitoring, um, you can do leaf wetness, any, any sort of sensor you need, you know, you'd like to actually monitor within the system we can bring it back in, whether it be digital or analog. So we can do temperatures, humidity, calculate some dew points. Yeah, quite a lot. Just a question mark on the integration with regards to APIs. Can your system talk to, for example, uh, Greenbrain, Centec? to bring in an irrigation application. So the classic thing I see is people might be doing some moisture monitoring with those systems, uh, not always recording the actual irrigation. Some, in many cases, has to be done manually. Is there such a thing where they might program, okay, I'm going to put on, you know, six hours, 12 hours, 10 mils, whatever, um, in your system and it runs and then it automatically drops that into the soil moisture platform so they can see what they've done and the impact that it's had. Yeah, so uh, we, we can cross-platform via API. Um, the team in Israel will sit down if it's a new setup like, um, like Greenbrain, so we haven't done Greenbrain yet, but uh, that's upcoming, is, uh, is they will work out the, uh, the data share. So whether it's a, a two-way share or a, uh, an input share or, or just an output share. So um, we've, we've got some customers that will bring the information in and they will line their soil moisture sensors alongside their valve operation. So in, in the graph on that, so they'll actually start to choose a, a full point and a refill point within the irrigation system. So they'll pull an alert um, when we set a, a full point to say that, yeah, it has reached full point and it's up to them from the decisions they make from there. And then obviously that data goes out. We, we typically at the moment will send out uh, programming, so what what scheduling is going to apply, and then uh, then some decisions have made from there. But essentially, we're all working towards that possibility of full autonomy. Um, but uh, it, it, yeah, rightfully so, a lot of people are holding back on that, which yeah, it's understandable. Yeah, the, the, the best fertilizer is footprints. We all know that. Yeah.